Welcome to this presentation on the use of millimetre radar for fire detection, tracking and asset management. Imagine before you a 3D landscape, much like the forest terrain one might find in southeastern Australia. This model contains accurate information about infrastructure, population centres, farm and bushland. Now imagine a fire spotting tower with a millimetre wave radar unit positioned. Also known as a Frequency Modulated Continuous Wave, or FMCW radar, this unit is a compact system with high range resolution and volumetric analysis capabilities. So how does radar work? Let's use the analogy of an MRI machine. Imagine placing our 3D landscape inside the MRI. Where an MRI reconstructs a model of the human body, radar can accurately measure all atmospheric disturbances and produce a 3D reconstruction of the atmosphere. Disturbances can include wind, clouds, rain, smoke and bushfire. The FMCW radar transmits low power electromagnetic signals to every position in the observable space. Radar also possesses the capability to simultaneously concentrate on areas of interest by scanning with increased resolution and sensitivity, whilst continuing to monitor the entire observable region for other disturbances. Let's examine a scenario where current detection methods are implemented. A lightning bolt strikes on the far side of a ridge and a fire is started. This presents a worst case scenario for any method of fire detection due to the line of sight being obstructed. Traditional methods of detection, such as human observation from spotting towers or by local community members, provide approximate information as to the location of the fire. Optical and infrared systems are also employed and provide a more automated response, giving detection capability in a two-dimensional capacity. Although these automated methods are an important step in diminishing fire threats, they are limited by the clarity of the atmosphere. So, what if we added radar to the mix? Because the lightning strike emits a signal detectable by radar, the unit will immediately begin to scan in the vicinity of the lightning strike. So how does radar overcome this worst case scenario? Remembering that radar detects any atmospheric disturbances, any rising heat columns or solid particles generated by the fire will be detected once intercepted by the radar beam. The radar immediately scans the entire plume column and produces volumetric data about the plume size, which is directly relatable to the amount of fuel burnt and the size of the fire. Furthermore, the volumetric scans that also detect particulates inside the plume allow for the exact location of the fire source to be determined. In turn, this enables the system to ascertain fire direction, localised wind speeds and spot fires. This stands true in adverse weather conditions and even when line of sight is obstructed. All information is accessible to emergency services and the general public in real time. This data can also be fed into predictive models such as Fire DST. Radar possesses the capability to track assets in real time using transponder technology similar to that found in the aerospace industry. These transponder units are small enough to be located on firebombing aircraft, fire trucks and on individual crew members to provide a redundancy system to those employed by emergency services. The entire system allows for a comprehensive management tool which complements all existing fire detection and prevention technology. Enhancements to the system can be achieved using multiple radar units and the addition of scattered receiver units.